everybody, my name is Nick. Today, I'm going to tell you about the story of vampires. <clears throat> Celsius Diary, England, 1820. Saturday, I can hardly wait. Today, it's my very first ball, but last night, did I dream of Walter's? ball gowns, and glittering chandelers? Oh no, my dreams are far less pleasant. I dreamed that my window was open, and the wind was howling in. A low voice whispered, let me in, Selsley, invite me in. I heard myself say, come in, and a dark shape flew in and through the window the black sheet flapping in the wind. More later, a tall man in a long black coat was in my room. His hair was jet black and his face, and face was very white. He went forward. forward. I started for a kiss, but I saw a glimpse of pointed teeth. They're about to sink into my, into my neck. As I awoke, my hand went to my neck. Of course, there was nothing there, but I have never such a vivid dream. My sisters, my parents, and I crammed into the coach, headed for the ball, where I was very cheerful. As my new bomb dice was waist up so tight that breathing was a challenge. I wonder how on earth I'm going to be that I'm going to dance in my dress. And if there'd be anyone worth dancing with, I don't, I doubt it. Not in boring old little gallery. Get it? I wish I went somewhere more excited. I meet dashing officers or brave sailors or daring explorers and be with away to a far exotic fairway place. The young gentlemen around here are about as exciting as cold toast. My heart began to beat a little faster at the mention of this mysterious person. When, uh, when we arrived at the party, uh, at the dance, the party was already in full swing. A small band was playing a gen, a, a John T2, and on one side of the room there was a large table browning with food and drink. I was starving, so I started off in direction of the refreshment. Suddenly, among the dance couples, and no one guessed, I saw a face I recognized, and I could not help it. I went out a while, unwaked uh, the white gasp. It was a pale stranger from a, it was the, the pale stranger from a dream. I soon discovered uh, then he smiled a uh, smile and offered his hand to me. Gasping into my eyes, feeling dazed, I took his hand in mine. It was deadly cold. I soon discovered he was an excellent dancer. I used to take, I used to taking dance lessons with boys, who thinks it's funny to step on their toes. But we seemed to glide around the room, it was floating. He didn't reply, but instead rolled me faster and faster around the dance floor until I painted for air. He didn't seem to breathe faster. In fact, I couldn't hear him breathing at all. As the song ended, my partner bowed and seemed to melt away into the crowd. Sunday. The ball seemed just like another dream. Today, I went to church as normal, took a walk in the fields, rode on pebbles, 
and took tea with my sisters at our cousin's house nearby. But everywhere I went, I looked for a pale young man. If he was at the main, you a uh, mainer? Sorry, I uh, I'll see him soon. No sign of him anywhere in town or out of it. Perhaps he'll be at Friday's ball. As I arrived at the ball, I saw him immediately. My pale young man was waiting for me on this floor. I felt drawn towards him like a wind-up to a toy, unable to control my own feet. He came back to me, my love. He said, if it were the normal way in the world to open a conversation, he took my hand and twirled me around the room. I felt as I ooh, as though I was in a trance. Then he said, "Come into the garden." I tried to clear my head. It felt as though part of me, the sensible part, was asleep. Only if you tell me who you are, I'll manage to say. Please tell me. Come, he said, and I'll show you. Mom is where? We're at the moon with Terrence beyond the ballroom. The man's strange, beautiful face was close to mine. His strange, beautiful, pale face that I never seen in daylight, with his sharp, sharp teeth, his chest that's, that never rose and fell to break, uh, and fell to breathe. The music indoors stopped abruptly, and I was suddenly very awake. The though that I'd been bubbling under the surface rose up in my heart. Heart jumped in fear as I realized, you're a vampire. His face stretched into a snarl, like an animal, no longer handsome, with terrible hiss, he lunged at me. I ducked and ran as fast as I could ever run. Safe inside the crowded bone, I turned. The vampire was nowhere to be seen. I took a seat close to the buffet and watched and waited. To calm myself, I took a plate of food and began to pick at it. Just then, I heard a voice at my elbow. You can escape so easily, my love. The vampire was standing behind me. I jerked to my feet, spilling my plate of rich, garlicky French stew everywhere. To my surprise, my, uh, the vampire reached back. Garlic, he hissed, and turned then turned and fled. As I stared at him, I had an idea. There were wild garlic flowers growing near to my house. As soon as I get home, I thought I would put vases of them everywhere. I felt much better after thinking of that. I spent the rest of the night dancing with a very plain boy named Tom. He had red freckled cheeks, his nose Noisily, uh, he breathed noisily through his mouth, uh, through his mouth, and stepped, and he stepped on my feet too. That night, I uh, thought he could be, he was the best dance uh, partner girl, dance partner a girl could ever want. The end. Bye.